Hello, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Wow Wednesday. I am your host, Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network. And it's a pleasure to be here with you on this Wednesday morning and introduce you to a very good friend of mine and colleague, a longtime, maybe one of the first members of Women's Prosperity Network. Because, like, I'm thinking here, like, we go back to before Women's Prosperity Network was created 15. 16 years ago, right? Right. Yes. A long time. (laughs) I feel like extended family, you know. (laughs) It is so beautiful and I am grateful to have you with us today. Uh, And I'm grateful for all of you tuning in, whether you're catching us live or on the replay. Uh, We have been committed to providing this midweek boost of motivation, education, and inspiration for the past 15 years. And we will continue to do so. So every week we feature different um, guest speakers and experts to pour into you, giving you the fuel to continue moving forward with your life and your business. And you are absolutely going to love our conversation today with Alexandra as we kick off this new year. And she gives us some tips on moving beyond resolutions to craft a sustainable path to personal success. Uh, So I'll bring her on in just a moment. We've got a lot happening here in this wonderful world of Women's Prosperity Network. So I just want to take a moment and clue you in on some things that we have going on. So uh, first of all, tomorrow, which is Thursday, January 11th, 1-11 at 1 p.m. I am doing a special call with two of my friends, Mark and Renee Porteous, and we're going to be talking about how to be the one this year uh, for yourself, for others, and for aligned partners so that you can grow and expand. Uh, And you can get information on that at nancymatthews.com forward slash 2024 kickoff. And I'll make sure I put the links in the chat. Um, The other piece that I want to make sure you know about, because this is time sensitive, is that um, we are hosting our, I'm going to call it legendary because we've been doing it for about 13, 14 years now, our two-day business of speaking training. And that's happening January 19th and 20th. Uh, We've got a special flash sale happening right now. So if you'd like to know how you can take advantage of this flash sale, just put a comment in the chat or in the comments below, and I'll make sure you get this very special link. Uh, This business of speaking training, it's one of our favorite courses because what we do is give you the exact tools, recipes, and formulas to get out there and share your message in a bigger way that allows you to make a positive impact and make a positive uh, profit in your business. Like those things go together. So join us for the business of speaking and uh, I'll drop the links later, or you can say, please tell me how I can come. Uh, So those are a couple of the announcements we have coming up for you. And, you know, in the vein of so many of you, Um, creating your plans, your goals, your intentions and resolutions for what you want to create in this coming year. I am super grateful to Alexandra for today's topic because I know statistics show most people forget about their resolutions by this time in January. So what perfect timing for you to be here, Alexandra. Uh, So let me share a little about your background and then we're going to jump right in. Alexandra Van Horn is the Live Well Long Coach. Ooh, I like that. And she inspires others to own their innate abilities to create a life that they truly love. She is a transformational life coach and consultant, an ordained minister, and a former training manager at a Fortune 500 company. She has inspired and helped others reach for and achieve their dreams for over 20 years. Widowed at a young age with three small sons, she learned firsthand about the power inherent in each of us to invent our world through our careful choice of thoughts, words, and actions. She is driven by this passion to help others create lives of peace and happiness. She has authored three books, taught special needs middle school students, dogs, horses, watercolor painting, and most of all, her five grandchildren. Her favorite charities are St. Jude's, Charity Water, and Unstoppable Foundation. And we get 
to learn from her today. So thank you, Alexandra, for being with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Who is that person? That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, she is amazing. Meet my friend Alexandra. <laughs> and um, so so let's let's dive in. You have been through a lot in your life. You have a rich and rewarding career. You serve in so many ways. Um, Talk to us about this whole key about moving beyond just resolutions. So resolutions, you know, people may say, oh, you know, oh, I'm going to hit the gym, you know, right after New Year's Day, I'm going to be in the gym or I'm going to lose 10 pounds or, you know, the, the, I'm going to and then whatever follows that, that they're, they declare is going to happen. And like, as you shared, you know, by the second week in January or whatever, it's like, Whip, that's gone. So what I want to share today are basically the three topics that fit under that, that idea of beyond resolutions, crafting a sustainable path to personal success. And that is like embracing many things that have you move into your vision of who you want to be in the world or what you want to accomplish versus, you know, I'm going to lose 10 pounds or I'm going to, you know, but embracing what does it look like when that's achieved? getting into that vibration of assuming that it's already happened and what would that feel like? What would it look like? What would I be doing? So I have some different tips that will help people get a sense of how to do that. So first of all, what does it mean to live from a vision? So living from a vision as opposed to living from, you know, a resolution, which I'm going to lose 10 pounds, which it's still, you know, it's a noble it's a noble vision to have. I want or a noble goal to have. Of course, we all want to do whatever we can to take care of ourselves, et cetera. But to live from a vision is like, just put yourself in that frame of mind of what would it feel like if I have already done that? You know, uh -huh. there's a, a saying that comes from Seneca and he says, or said, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. So, Ooh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Good so we've got to know which port we're heading to. Like, hold that vision of you know what am I, who am I going to be, or what am I going to accomplish, or what is that, what does that look like for me when it's, you know, when I've achieved it, and then getting into that frame of mind is like, what would I feel like? What would I look like? How would I act? What would I do? And then we have to live from that. You know, there's um, there's a a book mm, by Maxwell Maltz, and uh, the, I believe it's about the psychology of self-image cybernetics there it is there it is right <laughs> and it's all about you know the image we hold in our mind about who we are is really what creates so if we had early life programming that was less than optimal let's just say it was less than optimal didn't help us believe in ourselves or you know feel like a trendsetter or whatever it is that our ideal self would like to accomplish be do or have in the world and we have to work on that. So we have to have a consistent, so the place to begin would be to get into that feeling space that I mentioned, get into the feeling of what it's like when you achieve that, imagine it, what does it feel like? And then the second part is over. Wait, wait. Go ahead. Hold on a second. I want to dive in on that a little bit. Right. Great. Great. <laughs> um, so you said a key factor here in creating that sustainable path about path about your vision. And it was what caught my attention is consider what it looks like and feels like when it's already happened. Right. Right. So, and, and I think like, just to use your example about wanting to lose weight, if you're focused on losing weight, that's actually a negative thing because you're probably needing to deprive yourself. And, you know, th it, it's not a some positive experience typically, right? Right, exactly, yeah. So well, instead, yeah, so, so instead, if I was thinking about, you know, I am the woman who is 10 pounds lighter, what choices do I make? How do I think and feel about myself? Mm -hmm. And from that more positive experience, we will make better choices right now, right? Right, exactly. Like, like that woman live her life when correct. she's in the shape yeah. she wants to be in, or whatever the goal is, whatever the you know, intention. And, and I think, and I think to to dovetail on this conversation about resolutions, one of the reasons people fall off is they're focused on everything that they're 
giving up or sacrificing or I have changing and nobody likes to change. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so start with being able to come from your vision of what's possible and what you really desire is the right. starting. Exactly. Beautiful. And then you engage all of your five senses. You know, what would I look like if I looked in the mirror? You know, what would I would I like what I see, you know, if, if I don't like what I see, I may be berating myself when I look in the mirror or mm -hmm. if I've stepped into that vision and I've accomplished whatever it is, how would I feel? I'd be like, Hmm, feel good about myself. I feel, I accomplished this. I, you know, I feel healthier. I can touch my toes now, whatever the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> and let's take it to business. We've got lots of entrepreneurs live, you know, listening in who have goals and intentions, resolutions mm -hmm. about what they want their business to look like. Exactly. So moving forward to the end of the year, if you've achieved that goal, what is what are the things that you're doing in your business that have that goal be sustained? Right. So chances are, and I'm just going to say it because it's been coming up a lot with coaching clients lately. If you have a profitable business that's continuously bringing in money in exchange for the value you're providing, you're making follow-up phone calls. Mm hmm. That's part of the process, <laughs> right? So you're, you're, the sales are happening. Like how many of you would just love for sales to be continuous? That's part of the vision you're creating for your business. Well, what are the things that you would be doing in order to create that result? It's the same thing. Right. Live from the vision rather than, oh, no, I have to make calls. I, <laughs> right? Like right. it's such a difference. Absolutely. 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 Yes. Awesome. So engage the five senses. The five senses. So what would it look like? What would it, you know, what would it smell like if you were taking a trip somewhere and you're in the mountains versus in the city, it's going to have a different, you know, your five senses are going to definitely pick up something different. So whatever that vision is, if your, if your business has grown to a certain level, so what would it look like? Well, maybe you're standing on the stage and there's 5,000 people in the audience or 10,000 or a hundred, whatever the thing is that lights you up. Uh, so it's all about that feeling, the, you know, hear, see, smell, taste, touch, the five senses, you know, what would I be doing? What would I be touching to make that happen? Would I be uh, engaging with people that can hook me up with teaching engagements, uh, especially Love it. mentioning the business of speaking workshop that's coming up, you know, mm -hmm. all of these things that help you move into the vision. Like, okay, I want to be speaking in front of X number of people, then I better make sure I know about the business of speaking, et cetera. So all of those little things. So living into that vision, when you hold it, then it's like, oh, well, that person would then suddenly, oh, I got to register for that thing, or I've got to you know, right. practice yeah. my speaking, get in front of more people, the whole bit. So make those phone calls to hook me up, to have me be on those stages, whatever the thing is. So five senses. <laughs> You, re I you remind me when you were just speaking about that is um, at, our, at one of our workshops, we do this activity where I have you vision three years into the future and just pretend you're living from that space and you're thinking about all the wonderful things that have happened along the way, you know, three, and you've played this one a lot, right? With us. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and, and one year, many, probably eight years ago now, I had this vision of myself being on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, the same night Bruce Springsteen happened to be on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and we sang a song together about the one philosophy. So now that vision has not been realized yet, and I haven't given up on it. Because uh, some visions take longer than others, and that's okay, right? But when I had that vision... I thought to myself, okay, so if I'm going to one day sing a song with Bruce Springsteen about the one philosophy, I better know how to sing. So I signed up for singing lessons. There you go. Yeah. If I'm going to have that happen, I better have a song about the one philosophy. And I hired Fizz Anthony to help me write the song, which is Everyone's the One, available on Amazon, YouTube, and all those wonderful places. So I, I mentioned this because... 
sometimes when people have a vision, they get stuck. Oh, I don't know what to do, but just right. think of like you, like you're giving the recipe to have that vision come mm -hmm. into being and enjoying the process along the way. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you have to take the baby steps, what, you know, I, or maybe, yeah, I'm calling them baby steps, but mm -hmm. Taking the singing lessons, making that first phone call with the singing coach, whatever. Yeah. Those, you might consider that a baby step, but that's got to happen for the next yeah. thing to unfold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Yeah. Now, let, I, I know you're going to move on to this next piece, or at least I think you are. Um, what happens when Bruce Springsteen still hasn't called me? <laughs> <laughs> you stay the course. You stay the course. <laughs> Like, how else can I reach out to him? I know I, you posted one time a video where he came out from the stage and you, you gave him a copy of your book. So that was oh, really yes. cool. He had that it in his good. back pocket. I remember that yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to do whatever it takes to move into that space. I just saw some research online um, and it was about people who do hard things and complete them are more likely to do hard things and complete them and be successful as opposed to someone that says they're going to do a, a hard thing and then they gets a little hard and they back down. And the, basically it's about the neuroplasticity of the brain. When the brain gets used to doing hard things and completing them, that pathway has been paved. So for anybody who's you know thinking about, well, maybe that's not, maybe I don't want to push... You've got to give your brain a chance to create that new pathway and then say, oh, all right, I, I do hard things, whatever that is. You know, I love that. Phone calls yeah. or the course or whatever the thing is, mm -hmm. whatever's the hard thing for each of us. So we need to use the five senses, you know, to stay the vision, hold that in our mind's eye, read our vision every day, several times a day, if we can play it in our mind. And then, of course, the thoughts, words, and feelings that we choose lead to our results. So it's a constant vigilance. We have to be constantly vigilant, like, okay, what else can I do today that brings me closer to my vision? What else? And uh, be open to, but not attached to a specific outcome. You know, be like, okay, always add, we have your vision, and then always at the end say, well, this or something better, this or something better. Because we may think what we want is, a, B, or C, and it's not necessary. I recently, I wanted to take a road trip up to New Jersey, but I didn't want to go in the wintertime, you know, up for obvious reasons, right? And long story short, I was up, but I wanted to take my dog. My dog sitter was not available. And she had told me, oh, forget Christmas time, forget it. So I wanted to go and I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, how am I going to do this? And then a way opened up where I was able to get a plane ticket and be able to take my dog, which was really cool. Except I realized my dog would not be good taking her out onto the plane. She's very sensitive to sound. So I had this epiphany, like, let me try one more time and reach out to my dog sitter. And voila, she was available. And she was able to watch my dog. I was able to go fly without dealing with driving in snow or anything like that. Oh. And so your vision- it's something better is what happened. Right. Right. So your vision was you wanted to, the original thought was I want to take a road trip to visit so-and-so, right? Right. You wanted my family, my sisters. Yeah. And I want to be able to take my dog. So, so here's what's interesting is sometimes when we map out the steps, we're doing it with what we already know. Exactly. And not even give the universe an opportunity to delight and amaze you, right? That because Right. Exactly. Exactly. So the vision was I want to spend time with my sister, right? Right. My three What's sisters. The yeah. And then you went, okay, how am I going to get there? But, but you went to the thinking process. Yeah. The planning, my logical brain. <laughs> but it didn't work out, right. but you helped the vision. Exactly. And the vision was just, you know, hanging out, having, you know, dinner together, hanging out on the couch, whatever that meant, being around family, which was really what I wanted. And it worked out, you know, so that this or something better is what happened. And my logical mind got to see that, okay, maybe my, my thinking wasn't exactly on point with what I really wanted. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it worked out great. And so, um, so the other things I wanted to add was to make this all happen. There's a three step, a three part thing that I would say, which is staying in a high vibration, which is the practice of gratitude, just keeping ourselves elevated. The fastest way to elevate our mood or our vibration 
is to immediately just say, okay, what am I grateful for? I'm feeling down right now. Okay, what am I grateful? Oh, I love my morning coffee. I'm grateful that the sun is shining. You know, whatever the thing is, can be simple, could be huge. You know, I'm grateful for the soft slippers I have on my feet, whatever that thing is. By the way, I don't, I have shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barefoot. <laughs> I love Zoom. <laughs> I, I really am fully dressed. <laughs> I am grateful that I can be barefoot while I'm doing a show. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. So the gratitude is the number one thing. Then forgiveness, forgive ourselves. We're like, oh man, I still didn't accomplish that thing I wanted. So, you know, all of this to say like holding to the vision and, and, you know, five, putting our five senses into it, the whole thing. But we also have to forgive ourselves. Like, you know, like, one could say, well, it hasn't happened yet with Bruce Springsteen, you know, but forgiving ourselves for like where we're at and just, like, okay, but I'm going to keep at it. You know, I love myself. And then also focusing on like loving ourselves and others, because we can always have that choice. Do I judge myself or others, or do I choose to love? And so coming from that choosing to love is so huge because it, it just elevates us. It keeps the, the negative. That's a great question. Say that, do that again. Well, do I choose judgment or do I choose to love? And we're always at choice. Mm. It's, it's, it doesn't it's, always feel like it though. Right, exactly. It just feels like this is truth. That person is blah or I am blah, <laughs> you know, whatever the thing is. Yeah. yeah. So we have to notice it. And that's where the, okay, what am I grateful for? What do I, what do I appreciate about myself? Maybe I didn't accomplish that thing, but Hey, look at the things I have accomplished in life, you know, and it could be something as simple as I learned to walk or drive or raise a family. Well, that's not simple, but, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but acknowledge the things that we have. And it's so important to focus on that is, you know, focus on what's right with my life, focus on what's right with my health, whatever that thing is, maybe my knee is sore, but the rest of my body's working good. Okay, great. You know, mm -hmm. um, and have a sense of humor. Like when you think about it, Edison, thousands of tries to invent a light bulb, but he said it was all feedback. It wasn't failure. It was all feedback. Ooh, so I love that. Have a sense of humor about that, right? It's like, okay, I just haven't quite figured it out, but I'm moving forward. I'm just moving forward and doing the next right thing that appear, appears. So, and so sometimes it can feel daunting or how do, how do you distinguish between when to move on and when to stay the course. Because sometimes we do need to stop certain things. Yeah. Yeah. How well, I, I personally, prayer, meditation, anybody who's into divination things, sometimes I take a pendulum out and say, okay, is this a yes or a no, you know, and get with that gut feeling. Everyone I think has to get in touch with their own intuition Mm -hmm. and only everyone can know for themselves like, all right this is enough that didn't work time to cut my losses or I, i'm so close i'm so close you know and then everyone has to figure that out for themselves really and i think to anchor back to something you shared earlier is in doing hard things right. so are you, are you giving up because oh it's too hard um, or I'm afraid of something. So look at the energy around the reason you want to give up, right? Yeah. Which is what you're talking about by tuning into your gut and checking in and right. all of that, you know? Right. And one of the things that um, one of my mentors, Mary Morrissey says, is it's not always about reaching the goal or the dream, but it's who you become in the process. So by staying the course, you know, suppose we get to the end of our journey and it's the thing we wanted to achieve didn't happen, but who did we become in the process? How strong did our motivational muscles get, you know, our, our muscles of accomplishment, whatever you want to call that. So it, that, that alone is very powerful. So that's like the, the hidden benefit that we didn't really expect. So we can even pat ourselves on the back. Of, well, maybe I didn't make that thing happen, but look who I've become in the pro. Look what I've learned. I mean, even just being around Women's Prosperity Network and, and coaching from you, Nancy, you know, I've learned how to create my own landing pages and learned keep. Thank you, Rita. You know, all these other things that, that, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't have a dream of being a transformational life coach and reaching out to people. But all those other things came into play. So, you know, who knows where that will lead as well. So it, there's just right. this, 
growth process that happens. Right. So how cool is it? Because I've seen your journey, as we mentioned, um, right. right before we got started, Alexandra and I have known each other, um, I think since 2007, before women's product, like right around it, when we were yeah. creating, I think you were in the room when mm -hmm. we came up with the name, weren't you? Yes. Yes. This yes. We had a totally different name, and I was like, "No, that's not good." <laughs> it was, it was, well, it was wealthy empowered women, W E W, which is great. But when you do the acronym for it, it was woo, ew, like who wants <laughs> that? Like it didn't have good juju around it, right? Right, yeah, right, right. The, the um, feeling has to be there. Yeah, the feeling has to be there. And you know, for you, when I think about who you've become in the process, and you know, mm -hmm. who I've become as well, because we've been on this journey for a long time together, you do videos, you do your Instagram, you work with ChatGPT, like you mm -hmm. in the process of your commitment to serve people and have them become aware of how important what they think about comes about and how they can direct it to what they want like that's right. what you specialize in you're brilliant my friend um who you become in the process is a, an international speaker an author a video star a social media um, Maven, I'll say, right? You, <laughs> a copywriter, like you've acquired all of these skills. Exactly. And what I've seen with you is you, your vision has been infused in everything you do. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It's so true. And yeah. And there's always that, what should I be doing today that, you know, especially if I'm feeling stagnant and I'm like okay I need to do something new or different to move past this this I'll call it stagnant is the comfort zone you know okay what do I need to go beyond that uh, yeah yeah and so so the the gratitude the forgiveness having a sense of humor about ourselves staying with our goals and dreams and then lastly celebration like celebrating you know what whether it's like right now, okay, I'm excited to be here and I'm going to celebrate later. I don't know, maybe I'll go for lunch or something or just make myself another cup of coffee, you know, whatever the thing is that is celebration for me. Um, but it's so good to celebrate ourselves, big or little, like, hey, I did that hard thing. I made that phone call. I sent that email, you know, I, I whatever the things are and, and celebrate whether in a big way, big way or a little way to acknowledge ourselves because we need to do that we need to pat ourselves on the back i think uh, and as was shown in the recent summit i was in with um catherine Yarbrough's women loving life summit this past year the the theme of self-care and self-love was like number one across the board and each of us in our own different way that spoke talked about you know different modalities different life stories but self-care and self-love really was the theme throughout. Mm -hmm. And that's so important. So celebrating ourselves is so important instead of like maybe feeling like, oh, what's wrong with me? I didn't do that yet. Like, what's right with me? What do I love about myself? Not, not in a narcissistic way, but just like, you know, if I was my own best friend, what would I say? You know, look what you've become. That is big. <laughs> yes. like what, what a good barometer to use in your daily life is mm -hmm. to... Um, monitor, be aware and observe the words and language you use about yourself and ask the question, Yeah, would I say that to my best friend? Right. Like right. you would not say to, like when you make a little mistake, you would not say to your best friend, oh, you're so stupid. Why are you such an idiot? I can't believe you did those things. Exactly. That's some self-talk that I know I used to have in the past. And every now and then I have to catch myself because I'm human. <laughs> exactly. So it takes, it takes practice. It's like when I, you know, whenever I've had those moments, like, oh, what's wrong with me? You know, then, okay, what do I like about myself? What have I accomplished? What, you know, the grad, what am I grateful for to just get me out of that, that funk and, you know, move me forward. So that's a like constant, like when, you know, getting back to the title, you know, beyond resolutions, crafting a sustainable path, the sustainable path is that constant, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? How do I elevate it? What's my vision? What's the next step I can take? And, and it's so expansive. I mean, it gets into, there's so many modalities, you know, people talk about tapping and breath work. It, it all can come into play and everybody's got their own little toolbox, so to speak, of what works for them. And there's more, if it's not working, there's more things to learn, which is so exciting. 
it is so exciting and i and i love how you guide people to stay connected to this key that you just dropped in here if you're not if things aren't working out the way you'd hoped or you're not getting the results you want or you notice yourself feeling down the first thing to do is notice what you just said i'm going to echo what am i thinking what am i feeling what's my vision and then creating a shift from what you're thinking and feeling through gratitude or getting on a call with Alexandra. Cause sometimes, not sometimes, typically we need someone else to hear us, to be a witness, to bear witness to what I'm saying and what I'm thinking and, and have that safe space, you know, with Alexandra, for example, to get it out of you. Cause you can't deny that you've got the negative thoughts and feelings, right? Right. Exactly. You got to process them. You got to acknowledge them and yeah. then elevate from them. That's, that's what I see that you do. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and, you know, we've heard the saying, you know, rising tide lifts all ships. So yeah. surrounding ourselves like with people of like mind, like in yeah. women's prosperity network, I mean, I was away for a week and I loved seeing my sisters and family and everything, but it's like, I felt so disconnected. <laughs> so Where's I felt so <laughs> exactly. Where's my kindred spirits and the other, my fellow entrepreneurs or, you know, fellow sisters in WPN. And it's been, it's so good because this, even though we're scattered around the world, there's this common thread of uplifting one another and reaching for whatever that vision is. And that's so, so powerful. So it's so great Sorry. to be connected. So, you know, staying connected with people that uplift you that have a similar belief mindset about taking that next step or believing in oneself, self-love. Yeah. All that good stuff. Beautiful. Um, my friend, look how time flies. Yes, <laughs> We're, we would open up for some questions. So we'll do that in just a moment. Uh, and I know you've got a few things coming up. Um, first of all, dovetailing off, staying in connection with, with people and having a space to air your, your concerns as well as your joys and your celebrations. Tell everybody about your um, joys and concerns circle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So on Fridays at 1 p.m. every Friday, uh, Eastern, Eastern time, I host a Zoom call. I call it Joys and Concerns Circle. And it's where, and it's free. So in a minute, we'll drop the link in the chat where you can come on and share something you're joyful about and or, and or something you're concerned about. And then at, there, it's a very nice supportive group of people, women that have been coming and we hold each other's space. I Then I create a guided meditation where I incorporate everything that's been shared, whether it's the joys or the concerns and then spread love out into the world through the guided meditation. And I've gotten lots of great feedback on it. So I love doing it. And oh, there she, she put the chat in already. Great. There it is. Yep, Avi, I got go the link. Yep. Forward um, slash. For well, um, yeah, for everyone that's on the phone, grab a pen. And so you want to join Alexandra in this beautiful group that she's um, cultivated to come together. Fridays, 1 p.m. Eastern. And it is avh co uh, coaching so avh coaching.com forward slash joys hyphen concerns so avh coaching.com forward slash joys hyphen concerns so um i dropped the link in the chat gave it to you for those that are here with us on the phone uh, and then you also have something else coming up I do, um, I do, I do. I have, I've extended the, I had a holiday special for 2023, which is a three part course that just helps you break through the procrastination and, and get things done and, and really get in touch with the ways that we've maybe sabotaged ourselves up until now and gives you techniques for moving past. And it's a three session course which will be held the end of January and the, everything is in the, on the landing page. And it's normally a $97 course, but the holiday special was $27. And I will continue to honor that for the people that are listening to this. For podcast. your WPN family. There you are. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And here's the, here's the extra, extra icing on the cake. For anyone, for the first three people that register for it, 
uh, you will get a copy of my gratitude journal. This is, uh, there's a page, there's two entries to a page. You put the date and today I am happy and grateful for, and you just, and it's so great to have something like this because it just, it's just so handy and it keeps you uplifted and it's a place and to put we it. Need, we need tools like this to mm -hmm. uplift us for those moments when you're like, oh, this isn't working or I can't believe that person didn't call me back. And am I good enough to do this? Like noticing when you're down, what is my vision? Using the gratitude journal will lift you back up again. Right, exactly. Yeah. And this book is the first in what I'm calling my nightstand trilogy. There's two more coming out, which is, forgiveness and goals and dreams but this is the first one this is available now but the first three that register for it will get this included in the course that's only 27 dollars. so it's a steal of a deal because this is worth no twenty by itself so it's a it's a win-win <laughs> so. Um, so well let me recap so um join the joys um and concern circle and and this course that you're doing is about ending procrastination, overwhelm, frustration. It's about ease and flow and productivity. And I love that you're, first of all, thank you for extending it for your WPN family because dovetailing off of, you know, be going beyond resolutions, by the end of the month, you're probably going to be feeling a little overwhelmed. You know, the things on your to-do list that you said you were going to, oh, well, God, I didn't do that yet. Like that's going to happen. <laughs> exactly. And there will be a replay that the course dates are January 30th, 31st and February 1st at 2 p.m. But I highly, if you're interested at all, I highly recommend you sign up for it because you can get the replay if you can't make it. And it also includes, I know this is a crazy deal. It also includes two coaching sessions. So you get the three day three session. Well, well, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so for $27, Mm -hmm. I get a three-part course and two coaching sessions and with you. Two coaching sessions and the first three people get a copy of this. First wow. people, three people to register get a copy of that. <laughs> you are exhibiting generosity beyond. <laughs> a little insanity maybe too, but <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, um, all right. So here's the link. Let me give everybody the link uh, for the course um, with bonus of two coaching sessions everybody gets that or just the first three everybody yeah wow. I know. yeah <laughs> all right we, we we might have to have a conversation around that <laughs> <laughs> so sign up now folks before she has a conversation with me <laughs> or i was like what are you crazy <laughs> before she takes away the coaching session so i'm kidding <laughs> yeah. you know what it's it's absolutely beautiful because um, you are demonstrating that the more you give, the more you receive and trusting in that beautiful flow and process and holding to your vision. So, so listen up, everyone. Her vision is that you will break free from whatever is holding you back to really live your most successful, enjoyable, rewarding life. And look how she's pouring into you for $27 to get this three-part course with practical tactics in this group setting. And then two one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, this woman is committed to you having what you want in your life. So take advantage of this beautiful gift uh, and go to avhcoaching.com forward slash 2023 hyphen special. So it's avhcoaching.com forward slash 2023 hyphen special grab it up <laughs> before i have a session with her and say really? <laughs> <laughs> alexandra we need to talk <laughs> like i'm not going to tell you not to if, and and this is where you are living your vision and moving it forward and just um being of service in a beautiful way thank you thank you thank you awesome let's open for some questions so yeah. Um, we got several people with us. If you are with us on Facebook, you can post your com your question in the comment thread. If you are with us on Zoom, you can either post your question in the chat or go ahead and hit star six if you're on your phone or raise your hand if you're with us on the computer. And uh, we got a couple people unmuted so far. Let me start with Peg Duchesne. Good morning, Alexander. Hi, Nancy. It's so good to be with both of you, as always, on a Wednesday morning. Alexander, I know you. I know your heart. I'm so excited for you. And I hope that I am one of the first three 
to sign up for your class. So That's you right. just always are such a giver and pour into others. And this was a great topic as we kick off this new year and talk about resolutions. And I love the conversation around avoiding the negativity in our language, like lose this and make the changes and all the dreaded words that don't put us into action. And the comment you said about live and act from our vision was so empowering. Thank you. So thank you for what you brought this morning. Thank you. Thank you. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you, Peg. And I do hope you're one of the first three as well to get the gratitude journal and those two bonus sessions. And I'm going to say this to everyone out there. Um, <laughs> even if you're feeling good right now, grab this $27. Like you spend that on lunch. Like <laughs> Think about the mindless money that you spend. This $27 is to fill your and nourish you for your entirety of life to really keep you lifted. So um, go to avhcoaching.com forward slash 2023 hyphen special and grab it. Uh, just imagine being in basking in the, the space and energy of Alexandra. Like that's yummy in and of itself. <laughs> so it's so good. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead. We'll take some more callers. So if you have questions or comments, um, go ahead and raise your hand or unmute yourself with star six if you're on the phone. Uh, we got a couple of people already registered. So, con so congratulations to each of you. And uh, Mary Jane Charles, you're up next. This is so delightful. I'm so glad to be here. Um, we, it, we've been side by side on so many things, you know, and we keep appearing in best of places. So, <laughs> you know, I figure I'm in the right place. I'm like, yep, pull yourself up. But at the same time, go with those who are pulling up their own pins <laughs> to continue with the uh, analogy. Uh, mm -hmm. our, our, it's a definite frame of mind and outlook and personalities vary, but, but the core principles are a commonality and it's spectacular. I can pretty much roam in my, many groups and I just, you know, how's your dog? You start there and work your way up. <laughs> and of late, I find myself maybe in some getting older. I don't tolerate intolerance well. I never have, but it seems. Wait, wait, wait! You don't, you don't tolerate intolerance. Is that what correct. you said? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and living in this little town, it is throwback to, I don't know, a lot of bad movies in the fifties, and I'm wow. really uncomfortable with it. And I have to, I find myself sitting on my hands again, not speaking, and that was. A, the a Paul when I lived in the Northwest. So long story short, I have to come back to WPN uh, and it's either you speak upwards or you don't talk. You'll get, you, you will feel the vibe. Hey, Mary Jane, I want to yeah. mention, I want to mention something to you and thank you for sharing. So um, honestly about what you're experiencing. And I think that it's, um, there's intolerance lots of places there's divisiveness and and so what do you do when you're in a place like that because sitting on your hands and not speaking doesn't feel good right oh no you feel depressed. so I want to check out a woman by the name of Loretta Ross she's got a TED talk that is amazing and it's what she teaches is something called the calling in culture as opposed to calling out. Excellent. So calling in is about in how how do we in those scenarios invite a conversation for understanding and compassion that starts with us? It's it's so powerful. It has really helped me yep. um, be with people who have very different opinions. I, so check it out Loretta yeah. Ross calling in. I have it here. Okay, thank awesome. you. Oh, you're welcome. And congratulations. I think you're, you registered already for the special, right? I did. Uh, you know, 
Awesome. Get up early, but first up, best fit. That's how you go. Smart lady you are. <laughs> All right. Love you bunches, my friend. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank awesome. You. All right. Next up will be Evie's. Hello. Good morning. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it's, it's a good time to start the year with gratitude and elevate our thoughts with our vision, especially when when you didn't finish the year like you thought or things didn't happen right. as you yeah. wanted or planned. Right. But I just wanted to say thank you because it's just encouraging everybody to just check in how our feelings and emotions and everything. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. So glad you're here. And thank you for, for bringing up like some of us, maybe we didn't hit the goals that we had set at the beginning of 2023. And it can feel like, and as a matter of fact, it may be a little defeatist, like, oh, it didn't work. What makes me think it's going to work? This right? Like you can get into that space. Sure. And yeah. um, I think exactly it goes, there. yeah, yeah. So I think it goes back to the first point that you shared, Alexandra, which is about really you know, knowing your vision and tap, staying connected to it, like over my, my eyesight view from, from my camera, I see Bruce Springsteen. Like, so I haven't let go. It hasn't happened yet it's been seven years or eight years. I haven't let go. Right. As long as that man is alive and I'm alive, That's there's right. still, chance, yeah. right. Right. Yeah, so we just keep going and, um, and getting support and being in conversation and not being stuck in our heads. Like that whole thing about lifting ourselves up out of the dumps. Exactly. Really, yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Evie's. All right, let's go ahead. Um, we've got a question from Chad. So let me go ahead and bring that to you. Do you have any suggestions for finding a business partner who's aligned with my values? And so I'll throw that to Alexandra, and then I've got a couple of a suggestion as well. Okay, thank you. So one of the things that I I have done is make a list of what are those values. Like I actually have created a spreadsheet for myself about certain relationship that I'm looking for, and I've, what you know what is what's a red flag, so that I know what I don't want. Like it's just a process that you go through, making an absolute list of what you're really looking for being aware of what would be a deal breaker if that showed up in their you know in their personality and then with you know prayer meditation staying in a high vibration letting that intuition guide you like oh i think i'm going to go to that networking event you know not you know and then who knows you just follow those hunches as you stay in that high vibration and Love that. yeah yeah, great suggestion. So write down what are those values, embody them, share them, stay connected to the vision of what you want in a partner, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go places and magic will happen. Right, right. It start, everything starts here. And, and have conversations with people, right? And just share, hey, you know, what are you up to? Would you be interested in this? I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alexandra. Thank you. Awesome. And um, finding aligned partners is part of what I'm going to be sharing on Thursday, January 11th at 1 p.m. Uh, with my friends Mark and Renee Por uh, Porteous. And, you know, um, I've been in his community for a few years and it's actually the Soul Affiliate Alliance. Like it's, it's like people that resonate at a soul level is who we want to be doing business with. We want to be expanding and connecting with our soul family, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's what we're talking about. It's beautiful. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So um, go ahead and um, register for her course. Uh, and the bonus of the two sessions for just $27, go to avhcoaching.com forward slash 2023 hyphen uh, spe uh hyphen special and there's an issue with my link okay so i'll carry i'll get that fixed or check your email because i've emailed the invitation to it so you might have the email the invitation there so thank you for letting me know um let's go to next the beautiful brilliant barbara johnson 
Hello. Hello. Hey, Alexandra. It's good to hear you. Good to hear you talking. I love all of your insights. You you really are uh, very amazing at what you come up with. And I've really enjoyed you you helping me over the years sort through things. Actually, over a year and a half now. Um, what I want to ask you, okay, I know I'm not number three because I've already seen in the chat at least three people have signed up. <laughs> so, is there a way to get your uh, journal, your gratitude journal, Mm -hmm. outside of doing this and can can that be put in the chat as well so that yeah um, um, get it i mean i understand i'm not number three i'm sorry yeah i don't but, have the actual link set up but i will put my email address okay perfect and then people just put uh gratitude in the in the subject line so i'm sure to see it okay perfect i'm just sure i'm not the only one that's going okay i now i know i'm not number three but i still want to do it and i still right. like the journal so that would thank be cool you, thank you great great so yeah alex at avh coaching and for those who are listening it's av as in victor in case you were thinking is it a v or a b avh coaching.com and uh, just put gratitude in the subject line and i'll be sure to reach out to you with the, all the details fantastic thank you thank very you. much great i question. look forward to everything Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and um, so email, if you're, since you're probably not one of the first three, but let me be clear, everybody is going to get two coaching sessions for $27. So sign up. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Definitely sign up. All right. Um, and go to, so email, if you want the gratitude journal, go ahead and email alex at avh coaching.com and put gratitude in the subject line correct all right awesome um, i believe inga is with us and wants to ask or add something to the conversation is that inga dr inga 954 or i might have um 465 no it's not inga 954465 who's it's Sherry. Oh, Sherry, forgive Sherry. me. Hi, Sherry. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Uh, yes, um, I'm having problems with the link. I want to sign up for the course, but I, I um, for the co coaching and the, um, mm -hmm. and the class, the course. Yeah. So I, I wanted to know um, if you could just repeat that again. I thought I wrote it down correctly. AVH coaching 2023 slash special so close avhcoaching.com okay. forward, forward slash 2023 dash special okay so, avh code it was so close avhcoaching.com <laughs> forward slash 2023 mm -hmm hyphen special okay got it thank you so much oh, you're welcome kudos to you it's nice to have you with us and happy new year well happy new year to you yeah it is a happy new year grateful and happy um all right let's check in um I, april i'm so glad that you registered for the kickoff too that we're doing uh i'm doing on thursday i'm very excited about that conversation and continuing it forward um both myself and Alexandra are clearly committed um, to you having a life that you love so you can live well long, right? Isn't that what it is? You're the yes, live indeed. Live well. well. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you so much for pouring into us today, for continuing um, to give so many gifts to our community. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you. And I'm looking forward to us continuing our journey together. Final thoughts or words to share. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm, one of the things is that I feel so filled up by doing this, like even like at the end of my joys and concerns circle, at the end of the session, like I feel elated. And so it's that same thing being among all of you. It's just such a wonderful, uplifting experience. So 
thank you everybody for giving me the opportunity to feel good. <laughs> to hey. My feeling. Yes. So I'm very grateful for this. Wonderful. And looking forward to working with any or all of you that have registered and also, of course, just in any of the WPN events. So beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful session with all of you. Thank you so it much. It was a good, good wow Wednesday. So thank you all for being here, bringing your spirit, your energy, your um, hearts and souls and your visions, because what we're doing together is co-creating the most amazing, loving, harmonious world filled with peace and fun and rock and roll. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, get out there, have an amazing day, and remember to be the one. Take care. Bye, Alexandra. Bye, everyone. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody. Thank you.